Mahaba everybody. Bye bye up and then I'm going to Yo, what's up everybody? Greetings from Trabzon. Well, a hotel room in Trabzon actually because we only just arrived. We flew in from Istanbul, which was about an hour and a half flight. And then it was just a seven minute taxi drive over to here, the Ezra Suite Hotel. Yeah, we've only got a couple of nights stay here. And the main reason for that is we want to see the Sumela Monastery, which is going to be a big highlight of the trip. But we've heard that Trabzon has a bit of a rainy climate, even in summertime. So we're just hoping that the weather will hold out for us to be able to catch that tomorrow. Yes, today though, we're going to go check out the Aya Sophia of Trabzon. But before we do that, we'll give you a quick room tour and then we'll head on out and probably get ourselves some food too. Let's do it. <laughs> so it is a very small space that we have here today, but a gigantic bed in the middle of it. So big it can fit three people, as you can see by the pillows over there. <laughs> and a small little balcony as well. It was the cheapest hotel that we could find just for convenience sake. And it was only how much? 53 a night. 3 NZD a night. So yeah, we've got a shower toilet over here and enough space for us to just have our luggages there this one was a fold-out chair which we actually struggled with before to like put it back up so that we had space but we did manage in the out. end yes got our seat <laughs> <laughs> but anyways let's head on out we want to go get some food and check out that eye of sophia yeah let's do it Hey, what have you found over here, right? Eh? <laughs> Peter and I were just having a stroll around our neighborhood just so we can get our bearings and that sort of thing. And we got hit with this amazing view over Ooh, there. Look at that, that looks nice. Yeah, you can see a lot of greenery. So it does look quite different to where we were in Istanbul. And it must be because of that rainy climate, I think. The air also feels quite humid, eh? don't you think? Yeah, a little bit more humid than Istanbul, definitely. Yeah, it feels like rain might be coming. Hopefully not today or tomorrow. <laughs> arrived and Yin, how are you finding it bud? Good, it was only a 12 minute taxi drive over and we can already see the Aya Sophia over there. Black Sea on that side, when we were in the taxi ride before we could see it just on the coastline as we were coming over and it looks beautiful. It's very handy though, we've got a cafe over there called Aya Sophia Cafe. <laughs> I'm hungry, we need to eat first. We do, so I think that's a good spot for us to go check out first before we head into the mosque. got all our dishes from Aya Sophia Cafe and we've also been seated at a sweet spot right next to the Black Sea and yes. we're just looking out over there but this is something that I just had to eat as soon as I arrived it's called crema and normally it's eaten for breakfast and right now though it's like I don't know like five o'clock in the <laughs> evening but I just had to eat it so this is what we've got and it's something that's eaten locally here in this region and what it is is it's cheese mixed in with a bunch of cornstarch and other goodness yeah. and it's got this very thick viscousy kind of texture to it it's Ooh. so stringy look at it <laughs> it looks awesome okay going for a bite mm. <laughs> mm. oh wow that is like actually incredible it tastes exactly how it sounds cheesy with cornmeal <laughs> So it has a little bit of starchiness in there but the cheese is so delicious it's like subtle and i just really love the texture of it in other regions it's known as maklama maklama was it yeah i've also got here a kofta that looks fantastic as well i kind of want to just dip this in my cheese but <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's how you meant to eat it how's the trap zone kofta Delicious. 
every single time we've had a kofta here in Turkey, it has been incredible. The meat in there just tastes so fresh and prominent. Love the flavors in there, but I, I really do want to get back <laughs> into my cheese. This must be the star. <laughs> this is incredible, man. You have to try this. Although much smaller and probably way less well known than the Hagia Sophia that is in Istanbul, this Hagia Sophia of Trabzon is still beautiful and it even shares a kind of similar history. Originally a church back in the 13th century and then it became a mosque under the Ottoman Empire. It had a brief spell as a hospital, which is different, I think, to the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. But then it opened as a museum later on, and then finally in 2013, it got converted back to a mosque. And it sits on top of this beautiful hill overlooking that stunning Black Sea. What a location, eh? Yeah, it's beautiful up here. Yeah, it's definitely looking forward to going inside in it because apparently you can still see some fresco paintings and it's considered by many historians to be Turkey's best preserved late Byzantine building. These vivid frescoes were originally whitewashed during Ottoman rule. They have since been preserved and restored by a British art historian. And even though it's a working mosque, you can still see a lot of it even in here to this day. One feature that I found really cool was as you come in here, you can actually stand on this like see-through glass and see the mosaics that are underneath. A lovely visit to the Hagia Sophia of Trabzon. Great way for us to start our stay here. But we have a very early start tomorrow because we're going to be heading over to that Sumela Monastery. It looks really incredible from all the photos and videos that we've seen of it so far. And if this was an indication of what tomorrow is going to be like, I think we're going to be blown away. But yeah, rest time for us and we've got a nice sunset to go enjoy too. So see you tomorrow. Yo, good morning guys. We just got picked up by our tour guide, Atat, and we're just waiting in the van. We're traveling today with Xenofan Tours, and uh, it cost us $17.70 per person, and they're gonna be taking us all the way to Sumila Monastery and back. Plus, we've got an English-speaking guide, which will make things a lot more enjoyable, I think. Yeah. Uh, we're just waiting at the moment to see if any other people are gonna be joining us, but if not, it's just gonna be Yen and I today, so yeah. that'll be pretty sweet. <laughs> End up being a private tour of yeah. it. <laughs> We've just passed the point to get our tickets to go to Sumela Monastery and it was 100 Turkish Lira each. There's actually a car park where the cars all have to stop here and then we take a shuttle up. So that's where we're headed right now. Okay, so it turns out that the 100 lira per person was the entrance fee for this place, but then there's an additional 15 lira that you need to pay for the minivan. There are a couple of amazing monasteries that I've wanted to see in this world. You've got the Meteora in Greece, you've got the Chapel in the Sky in Ethiopia, as well as, even though this isn't a monastery, but the Tiger's Nest in Bhutan, and that's just to name a few. But also on that list is the Sumela Monastery, which you're able to see right over there in the distance. Yes. And it is amazing to see it in person. I gotta say, we are totally blessed to be able to get a nice clear day like this today, because normally we've seen lots of pictures and it's all clouds out here. Yeah. But Man, we can see it off in the distance. And whenever I come to places like this, I'm always in like awe and wonder, like 
Well, why did why is that the position of all the places that you could have put the monastery? Why on that cliff edge? And the reason is two monks came here from Athens during the Byzantine period under the rule of Theodosius and they came here and as they were staying at the St. Barbara church they had a vision and they had the vision of the Virgin Mary and that is the place where, where they, they had the vision it, yeah. and uh, that's where the monastery is today. So man, I can't wait to go in there. Very incredible. Absolutely. <laughs> Three hundred and fifty meters up these stairs, and we should be at the monastery. So awesome that we got to have that other view before too, because I think it's a bit less well known, but it gives us that incredible long shot of Samela. Once we are up these stairs and through this little door at the end, we're actually going to be inside the monastery. Yes, that's right. It's quite incredible when you first come up here and you're faced with this cliff side of the monastery. And I just saw a photo here that shows what the stairwell here used to look like a couple of decades ago. It is noticeably much cooler in here, thank goodness, because it is very hot out there. We're here at the start of June, and we've also missed the school holiday, so there's no crowds, and it feels so lucky, both for a clear day and the no crowds. One in a million. I know, right? <laughs> incredible is this place from far away it sort of looks like a fortress but up close it's more like a village that you can yeah, explore totally and you can't go through all of it there are some parts that are still under construction but we do get to see a large amount which is pretty incredible it's unknown exactly when the original uh, structure was first built but it is dated to around the fourth century and what we see that has survived today is believed to be from around the 13th century you can even see some of the frescoes still on those walls over there. It's just marvelous. internal rooms that you can check out once you are in the monastery like we've already been into the kitchen that was one of the first places we went to and of the course library. <laughs> and the library but this has got to be my favorite room though this is the chapel and there are beautiful beautiful frescoes lined all across on top of the roof as well as all over the walls the nerd in me can't help but feel like this is a place where superheroes are going <laughs> to get trained to become a superhero <laughs> to fight the final boss you know but you know I know that's not real life. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, and this is just beautiful. It is, it is. Hey, what are you doing? Man, I really feel like we are so lucky to get this place to ourselves, eh bud? I know, right? Incredibly fortunate. We spent a couple of hours here already and Atta, our guide, was saying just take our time, which we super appreciate it because it's allowed us to fully explore all the little rooms and walkways and everything and really soak it all in. And I just can't believe how unbelievably fortunate we are to come when it's not even crowded. Right now, it feels like we're the only people here, which is just amazing, amazing. Shall we head back soon though, bud? Yeah, I think it's about time that we go back though. <laughs> we have spent quite a while here. I 
we're seeing this. This is just like New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. We're back at home. <laughs> <laughs> they just look quite different though. Yeah, they do look different. They're like shaggier and they've got black faces. Mm. But they certainly smell the same. <laughs> <laughs> We are certainly not in Sumela Monastery anymore. No, we are back into the city center. Atta has just dropped us off and gotta say a huge thank you Atta if you're watching this. You were just the best guide and so patient and had such great information for us. So thank you so much. We yes, really enjoyed it. Thank you our so time. much. Yeah, right now though we are going to one of Atta's recommendations for Iskander. So it's just over down that way. We just came into the store and so sorry we don't even know what the name is but we'll hopefully get the sign from the outside. We just heard that it served ridiculously good food here and so we really wanted to try it. Love the atmosphere so when we came in. It's so bustling and busy and everyone's cooking. It's really cool. And we totally felt welcome too, which is awesome. So wasn't sure what I got, but I believe it's called a bait. And it looks like it is ground beef or lamb maybe. And then put into a flat wrap and has some rice, yogurt, and tomatoes on it. So it looks incredible. And the dish that was highly recommended uh, from Atta was the Iskander here. I will be eating that later. So that's Peter's, but I'll go in for my beta first. Let's have a try. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's got the end seal of approval. <laughs> that is delicious. You can definitely taste all the yogurt. And the wrap is quite chewy, but it goes really nicely with that tangy tomato sauce and you have some of that rice to the pilaf. It's really good. I'm so excited to dig into my Iskander, but we've also got here a very unique drink. These fruits have been stewed in this and served chilled, so... Oh, it's magical. It is magical. It is a magical strawberry drink, I'm telling you guys. And this has been very highly recommended. I've been saving myself for the perfect Iskander. I think we finally found the one. I'm going to try and get a little bit of everything here. So this looks like lamb meat that's come fresh from the donor. And it's got a bit of chips underneath. Or No, the, I, I actually don't know what this is. It might just be bread. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh man, that is crazy. Oh, it's been stewed to perfection, guys. Tastes so good. The donut meat is so nice, but what's really amazing is that tomato sauce. That tomato sauce is insane. It's so flavorful. I haven't had anything like that. It's so delicious. It really packs a punch, doesn't it? it certainly does. Those are some good tomatoes in there, man. So nice. Thanks for the recommendation, Asta. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm. Okay guys, I think that is a wrap for today's vlog. <laughs> yeah, it's been an awesome day. I don't think any day can top this. It's been so much fun going to the monastery and as well as having that food, plus the Hagia Sophia. So, yes. I don't know, Trap Zone, you've really impressed us so far. Such a beautiful place and glad that we came to visit. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please do remember to help us out by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and definitely leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you and we will see you in the next vlog. See you everybody. Bye. Oh, <laughs>